Breastfeeding is a dynamic and evolving process that involves a series of milestones for both the mother and the baby. Here are some of the key milestones that are typically associated with breastfeeding. First feed, the first feeding, also known as the golden hour, occurs within the first hour after birth. This is an important time for the baby to receive colostrum, which is rich in antibodies and provides essential nutrients. Latching on, latching on refers to the process of the baby attaching to the breast and suckling. It can take some time for both the mother and the baby to get the hang of it, but a good latch is essential for successful breastfeeding. Milk production, milk production usually begins within two to three days after birth, as the mother's body adjusts to the baby's needs. This is when the baby starts receiving mature milk, which is higher in fat and calories. Feeding frequency, newborns typically feed every 2 to 3 hours, or 8 to 12 times per day. As the baby grows, the frequency of feedings may decrease, but the length of each feeding session may increase or decrease. Growth spurts, babies go through periods of rapid growth, during which they may need to feed more frequently to meet their increased nutritional needs. These growth spurts usually occur at around 2 weeks, 6 weeks, and 3 months. Solid foods, breast milk provides all the nutrients a baby needs for the first 6 months of life, but around this time, solid foods can be introduced. Breastfeeding can continue alongside solid foods for as long as the mother and baby desire. Weaning, weaning is the process of transitioning the baby from breast milk to other sources of nutrition. This can happen gradually over several months or more abruptly, depending on the preferences of the mother and baby. It's important to remember that every baby is different, and breastfeeding milestones may vary from one child to another. Some babies may take longer to establish a good latch, while others may need to feed more frequently or for longer periods of time. It's also important to seek support from a lactation consultant or other healthcare provider if you are experiencing any challenges with breastfeeding.